Oh, it was probably here with the build of the Tar 01 Soto AI04 featuring build, which this time we were taking a look at the second figure of the set as we've previously looked at Shining Assault Hopper. Now we are looking at Vulcan Assault Wolf, which is obviously the power up of Vulcan. Originally, I wasn't going to pick this up just because I already had the RKF and then the figures, but then because of a certain form, I had to end up picking this one up, which this one is actually difficult. Because uh, this one actually, like, I just see the entirety of set four is hard. Ex unless it's metal build, because obviously that's the metal build and phantom build are the last two figures. But Gain, Shining Assault Hopper, and Assault Wolf are actually pretty difficult. So, you know, just, let's just get this over with. Um, I feel like these bodies are pretty, like, light. You know, just so then they could... Oh wow, <laughs> mine was packaged with this just straight, but I feel like the bodies are purposely like easy, so then you, you're you like, so then they can like, you know, be like, oh yeah, we're not so bad after all, and then when you actually like get the armor, it's like, oh gosh, but this figure is painted very nicely. I didn't really follow up as much with the updates with, um... This is not removable. I didn't really follow up with the updates back then. Um, but I I was at least aware that they did note that the big thing with this figure is that the undersuit portions are painted, so that's appreciated. And he comes with split open hands again and the stickers don't look that bad I think this Yeah, um, he's just the shot riser with the holder. I think this is, because I think the only other prior, I know, I never got a shot riser. No, I did. I got Jackal, um, but that was technically different. Um, see, the thing, I think the reason why I was so amazed with double, I just having cuts for the maximum drive slot is because zero one doesn't have that for the holders at all. Which kind of sucks, because then... You're either going to run the sticker way over or like bend it. Okay, so... This is so I guess nothing for the back. <laughs>
Wow. Um, I was not expecting this to be very simple. Wow. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> okay. So this one might be a quicker video after all. Somehow. I don't know why I closed it if I was. But I still need to screw it. Anyways. Okay, what the heck? Okay, so this is the authorized poster, but now it's puny. <laughs> okay, it's still the same size, surprisingly, but it's, that's... This is tiny. Oh wow, this with no stickers still looks amazing. <laughs> okay, now the apparently the battery's gonna exhaust again even though you're only at nine percent. Sticker sheet. stand and the body I failed at the arc again. I don't get why this is one sticker. I should actually probably talk. <laughs> I barely talked at all in this one. 
because I would have brought in the conversation of, oh yeah, why exactly is Assault Wolf your favorite form of Vulcan? I don't know. I just like the color scheme of it. Like, I just think the color scheme for Assault Wolf is interesting. And then, um, I don't know, like Rampage, I think it's alright. Well, I feel like the suit is fine. I just feel like figures of the, the figures of that form don't really do it justice. I think my issue is that they slim it down, which I'm not really a big fan of. But then with, um, Assault Wolf, I feel like they do this form justice. Unless you're RKF, then you did it horribly. Um, but. Man, I messed this up. <laughs> I had it. Perfect, but then I just ruined it. Um, there's the face. Great. <laughs> like, I think I just like. The navy blue of it, especially, because I think it's pretty interesting. And again, it's a nice evolution of a, of shooting wolf, because, like, I'm honestly kind of not really big on that design. <laughs> so I appreciate I'm a salt wolf. Existing as I learn how to not. Put on stickers for the authorized buster, but yeah, um. There we go. The camera might die at some point, so... Okay. So, I don't know when this will die. Which is why I'm kind of rushing this out now. Um, anyways, here we go with... This, so... I really like how they handle the shoulder pad with the salt wolf. They actually made that one full piece instead of like, you know, having the space for slotting or for slotting in. And here we go with the salt wolf. I really like this overall. I like mini and salt wolf. I like it. They still managed to keep the bulkiness because I feel like again the RKF just couldn't. But, um, <laughs> authorized Buster is pretty puny of it to say so. Um, <laughs> other than that, it's like, it doesn't look threatening at all. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a big cannon, but it's not. Uh, 
I don't know how I want to pose him. Because I want to pose him with Buster. But it just doesn't look that great and such. Other than that, um... Yeah, this has to be one of the worst builds I've ever done commentary-wise. Um, just because I'm, I was rushing it because the battery is going to die. Um, so I apologize for that. And the pose is horrible. I wanted to do comparisons with my other Vulcans, but I can't. Um, I don't know. I really wish Fu actually did use the authorized buster mode more but he barely used it because Arto barely used Shine Assault Hopper. But yeah, battery exhaust, great. 